Hello everybody, nice to meet you guys again. Welcome to Blood Loop and this is Kervin. Guess what I'm gonna show you in this video? See there. Okay, right here it is the highly anticipated water green container. And it is also the first time that our container is officially meeting with you. And as you can see, our container consists of uh, two boxes and they are 6 meters long, 2.4 meters wide and 2.8 meters high. And as you can see, the inside miner is the internal circulation and the, the outside one is the external circulation. Also the water cooling tower and the water curtain. And then there will be also a core part between them to complete the heat exchange of water. And how many units do you think this container can hold? 252 S19 series and uh, 336 watts miner. And that is to say you will have a lower cost for each slot and you can save more money. Okay, now please come with me into this container. Wow, it is so cool inside. That is because there is a special thermal insulation on the top of the container. And as you can see, there are so many tubes here, right? And all of them is for the circulation water. And uh, please see there, the cold water will from the left tube go this way and to here. And then the cold water will be divided into two sides. And from here, the cold water will enter into the running miner from this blue outlet. And then the hot water will flow out from the red one and to last the hot water will be gathered in the right tube and come back to the ex external circulation you see here here are one two three four five six seven seven layers on both sides and uh, there are many both valves and the air diagram actuators and those are the PDU boards this is the three phase plug and also here are two negative pressure fans which can suck some of the deposit heat away from the inside. The two boxes are the power distribution cabinets which is for supplying and redistributing the electrical energy. It also provides the protection against the overload or short circuit currents keeping the miner safe. And uh, by the way the central control system is also installed in this cabinet which includes all kinds of sensors and uh, automatically controls the water temperature or the water flow from the internal and external circulation. So now let's open it and take a look. See here, these are the terminal and aggregation switches and down here, there are 56 switches just for controlling the seven layers on this side and another cabinet is for the other side. And in addition, there are also the timing alarms for abnormalities. You can check all kinds of parameters like water temperature, water pressure, and the flow rate from this screen. Okay, now let's go back to the outside. Okay, this part is the external circulation, also the core part of our cooling technology. It looks so cool, right? And uh, first of all, both the internal and the external circulation adopt a kind of uh, energy saving design. The PU is just 1.03, and later we will take a look at the fan control system with the variable frequency, and uh, which can effectively reduce the water consumption, energy consumption, and the noise. In order to ensure the stable operation of this system with the changes of external environment throughout the year, we have made the following designs. So let's open this door and take a look. Just as you see here, this is the expansion tank. It can stop the expansion and the contraction, avoiding the excessive water pressure to cause the tube explosion. And this one is the coolant reserve tank, which maintains the coolant levels of the whole container. And this one is the heat exchange module, which is also the most important part of our water circulation. And let me tell you its theory briefly. This is an internal circulation water pump. Through the power from it, the water will go through the two filtering tanks and be transferred to the pure water. And then it will be transported to the whole container. And this circulation brings the continuous heat from the miners to the heat exchange module. And this process is so-called internal circulation. And through the heat transfer in this module, the heat from the internal circulation will taken away by the water from the external circulation. And about the external circulation, it is also powered by this external circulation water pump, bringing the heat to the top of the 
water cooling tower. The water will go down through the honeycombed water curtain and um, be pumped by three large fans to vaporize the liquid water and then the heat will be taken away. And in this way, the heat from the miners will complete a long journey from the chips to the water cooling plates and then to the internal circulation and uh, the heat exchange module and uh, then to the external circulation and lost. And about this large box, it is also a control system just connected to the central control system and that container. This is for controlling the water pressure and uh, water temperature and so on. And uh, then it also controls the three large fans on the, on the top of the container. So let's climb on it and uh, take a look. Wow, it looks so good. Please come on, come on, come on. These are three large fans with variable frequency. And the water cooling tower and the whole water curtain are under here. The flow rate of the water cooling tower is 180 cubic meters per hour, which just can match our mining container. So give me the camera, please. Come on. Most of the heat will emit here. I don't know if it can lift me up when running, maybe. Well, these are the working theories of our water cooling container. Shortly speaking, we have the following advantages. Number one, it has the most reasonable grading, pressure reduction, and the heat exchange module at the same time. Number two, more slots are available, which means you will have a lower cost for each slot. Number three, the energy saving and the environmental design. The PU is just 1.03, and the fan control system with the variable frequency can reduce the water energy and the noise. Metaloban is committed to creating a product with the same function, and our container is just like a parking space for every miner. Everyone can park different cars in their spaces, right? And uh, in the future, our container is also available for the water cooling miner from different brands and different models. If you want to change your air cooling mining farm to a water cooling one, you just need to design the low and high voltage in your farm and connect the uh, water cooling tower and the water cooling container. And then access to the network and the pool. And last, you can power it on and run it. Of course, you can also tell us the situation of your farms. We will also provide you a comprehensive water cooling solution and one-stop service. In the next video, I will bring you guys to our own water cooling mining farm to see the actual situation. And if you don't have so many miners, don't worry, we will also push out a water cooling cabinet holding 30 units. And in the future, we will also release the corresponding water cooling container for like Middle East or some places with a serious lack of fresh water or some extremely cold areas. The reason why we are doing this is for all the miners from different countries onto this water cooling track with the lowest cost and the safest way. Okay, that is all for today's video. If you are interested in our water cooling container, please comment below or keep following us. I will share you more information about our water cooling products. Okay, it's well rain later, I gonna go home. So see you next time, bye.